Hi everyone. Today I am going to be scrapbooking my granddaughter, Tegan. And you've seen her before. Um, she, um, she's the one who made the little tiny circles I um, showed you uh, in my layout share. I showed you that she made all these little tiny circles and I scrapbooked that. Well, it's like ever since she was little, she always has been into making things and um, and we'd go someplace and she'd be, her and her sister, they would bring something to craft when we were going out to dinner and <laughs> this day was no exception. Um, her sister brought a boyfriend so she didn't need a craft I guess. <laughs> But um, she had it in her mind that she was going to make a swimming suit. I know she started one previously and then um, decided to quit or give up on that one. And now she's back at this is her second try. I don't know if she ever finished it. I'll have to find out. But I took these pictures of her when we were at the restaurant. It's just so funny how she's just... Uh, I really think it's like, oh my gosh, all my... My kids and my grandkids have just become their their mom and their grandmother. So um, today I am going to be doing this scrap lift and I can't remember who the lady was that did it. Um, if, if I can remember or find that page um, that Janet had showed, I'll show it. But um, here it is. It's like um, four pieces of paper and then um, there's embellishments down the center and now they've got their title over here mine will be a little bit different that way I'm actually going to put my pictures on this side and because I'm using two um, four by sixes they're going to cover up some of this so I'm only going to have it like um, at the mostly at the top and then a tiny bit at the bottom but Janet from Love RTS on her Patreon had shown that so um, anyhow I'm going to do that similar layout and let me get started here I'm I've already matted these pictures and Oh, I'm going to I'm going to be using um, Mente's Dreamer, the six by six, and I'm going to be using the bird paper. Whoops. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to be I don't know if you got to see. I'm using the Mente Dreamer, and I'm going to use be using the bird paper since we were we were actually outside at the restaurant it was kind of um, during the whole COVID thing so it's a, kind of a purplish cloud cloudy sky on the other side and I'm gonna be putting this up here and then I'm gonna be putting this blue cloudy sky on the other side and this is what the back of that looks like and in this um, it's a little easier to use it because you get four of each <laughs> Because it's like, I always hate to um, use, their, use their papers because, you know, because then you're using them. But I do love to use their papers. I can't say I hate to use them because I do use them all the time. Uh, I don't know what side I want to use there, but maybe this way. So, and this is one that has a window, so I guess they thought it should be used this way. Uh, I'll leave it here like that for right now. And then this one with the floral that I just love, love, love it. And this is one that's got like a sweater on one side. And I'm actually going to be um, using that sweatery side too from another piece. So um, I'm going to start by, which way do I need to take it? I think I need the clouds this way. And most of it's most of the, each paper is going to be showing. I'm just going to overlap a little bit. So I am just going to go ahead and put some tape down the two sides and lay them out. My husband's got a fire going today, so hopefully it's not too loud that 
but you can't hear me. Oh, it looks like I got a little issue. Just a minute. Huh, it's like that whole thing was kind of up in the air. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> okay, so um, up these ones I'm going to have that over on that side. And I've got my trusty T-square here. And I'm just going to leave a little bit of an edge. So I probably need to sand up. Okay. Okay, if this takes me too long, I'll just cut it out. <laughs> okay, so I want it about right there. I just think these papers are so beautiful. Oh, maybe I just need to do it without. I swear when I laid it out, it looked fine. Okay, and as long as I have them all lined up with each other, it should be fine. Okay, I think I am still going to turn this this way. Because as Shannon from She's Crafty says, I'm the boss of my scrapbook page. <laughs> Okay, and putting down this clouds, and I'm thinking that it's darker on the bottom when you're looking up at the sky. So I'm going with that there, and then this beautiful floral. And I can't tell which way that was intended. I think this way. Regardless, that's the way I'm going, right? Okay. Whoops. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going with that. And I'm just going to lay these here because... Um, just in case there's some overlapping, but I've already punched these out ahead and let me grab them. This is what I'm going to put in the center and just like when I did her um, corset page, um, these pieces, these are the same pieces from the blue, but it looks so realistic. You know, it really looks like this trim has been crocheted. So um, I just figured I'm going to use that again. Let me show it to you up close. I mean, it's like if you can see that, it just totally looks crocheted when you're looking at it through here. I know I took a picture of it with my phone, and it's like, whoa, it even looks more realistic <laughs> like that. So let me get everything back in frame. And so I'm going to put this down first, and I'm just going to kind of shoot for the center here and maybe a couple a little bit here okay I think that's good and I'm gonna just kind of line that up with the edge now um, on Janet's and um, the person who she scrap lifted and it's like kind of her name's almost on my lips it seems like it was Laura but I'm not sure but um, anyhow she they had used circles but I thought since she's crocheting I wanted to use that little bit that looks like crocheting and only a little bit of this bottom is going to show so I'm going to put two down there also but just like two of the pieces that I had to cut out a whole extra one just to get these two little pieces because I didn't want to short it at the top just in case I didn't cover it all. So that's what I've got so far. Okay. And Um, I'll tell you, we get so much dust from the fireplace, but um, when we did the reno, it's the only thing my husband really asked for. So he was so good to me about it 
that I thought I just had to let him have it. <laughs> okay, so um, now I'm going to build into the center and from um, the handmade from Mente, I'm using these little pieces that look like um, measuring tape. Since she's crocheting, I'm, I'm trying to do a little bit of sewing type items because I'll tell you, as many sewing things as I have, I have nothing that looked to be like a crochet, um, a crochet needle or anything like that. So, and I'm going to start with the smallest one at the top put the widest one at the bottom Let's see, I think I want to put this this way and then put this one up here go in the other direction so they kind of go a, diff a different way each one and then I am going to find my other button I've got these little buttons and I knew I needed my little my little permanent adhesive dots for that. If I'm not in a hurry, sometimes I just glue them and usually they just stay there too. <laughs> I don't really have a whole lot of problems with them. Okay. As long as they don't stick to me. And I'm just gonna kind of, you know, zigzag back and forth. Oh, and these look kind of like a little flower. I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's like if I see a cute button on a shirt that I'm throwing out or something, I'll always save the buttons. Or if they're plain white ones, because um, in spite of how it's nice to have, you know, pretty colored ones, I'm really into the white ones. <laughs> okay, and. I've also got this little bit of flare and I'm going to put this on here and I always use these adhesive dots for that too. And I don't know if I've ever tried to just use the the tacky glue for that or not. I don't think so. Sometimes I just, you know, try different things. <laughs> it's like, oh, tacky glue works for that too. Okay, so those are what I'm putting there. And I've had these black snaps that my mom had given me, and I thought, oh, those are cute. I'm just going to use them for scrapbooking. And I didn't realize until I took them off here that you actually have two pieces. So I'm going to use one of those, and, and I guess I can use these little tiny dots for that too. So, let's see, I think I'm going to use this bigger one up here and, and of course my nail is stuck to it. <laughs> oh, and I definitely am not going to get the little littler one on there, so I'm going to um, just have to glue those. Okay, and then I've got this bigger one, and then I think I'll just put a little glue. Remember I'm kind of alternating but I'll put one about here and maybe one close to this eight. And even though it's metal I'm sure it will hold because use it for a lot of things. Okay. And then I am going to put a doily right over here, kind of center it in my leftover in my leftover space in there. Let's see, I'm gonna put it here because sometimes I tear up the doily doing it the other way. Oh, nothing even 
connected. Uh, do I have an issue here? Let me just, I'm going to have to tighten it up again. I don't know what happened. This is a brand new thing. I don't know what this problem is. Okay. And I'm stuck to some goo here. Okay, let me see. Oh, I can see it's maybe because I'm getting close to the end. I don't know. I don't usually have a problem with it. I was always having problems with my old one, but it's like my old one, I actually bought it used. So, so I was pretty happy to buy a new one. I fiddled with the other one <laughs> long enough. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that there. And my husband's mother, she had um, actually crocheted me some little daisies, and I wanted to use those, and I could not put my hands on those for anything. So I'm going to be using this little heart that, it's actually a store-made one, and I've got from the, um, from the handmade, Minte Handmade, um, they have these little things that look like for embroidery. It's an embroidery hoop with fabric in it, looks like. And I'm going to put that there, and then I've got a pink flare for over here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Okay, and I'm just going to tilt it a little bit. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this. And I'm just going to kind of glue it at the top, at the bottom, maybe this kind of right center, and a little bit on the edge. Just kind of a dot here and there. And see how that does. And I, I know it's kind of like an off-white on white, but I tried some different doilies, and I sent a picture over to my um, my scrap buddy for a second opinion, and she said the white still looks better. And really, when I think about it, you know, she's got the white here, and even though it's a subtle difference, um, I think it's going to be fine, because I didn't really have it. If I would have had a pink, I had a pink, but it was too peachy. If I'd have had a pink that was kind of purpley, like like the birds in this paper, I would have went for that probably. Okay. And now I'm going to put down these pictures. And do I need to slide this up just a bit? Maybe. Oh, I just pulled off a little bit of that. Wah, wah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have to um, make some of those um, weird noises every now and then. <laughs> sound, my sound effects. Okay. And I'm going to try to pull it up just a little bit here. Um, I might, do I want to? Let me see. I might just have to put a little piece of that in there because that's going to bother me. So this is what you do if you got to fix something. <laughs> I could probably do a whole lot of fix it tutorials because it's like every now and then you mess up things. And so I am just going to slide this underneath here and because I want it to be perfect when she sees it. Oh, and I didn't make it underneath there. Okay, let me try that again. Hopefully my head's not in the way. I don't know if we get a glare from the gray or not. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I forgot that one is glued, so it didn't... 
it just popped right back up. Okay. Okay, so I got that a little closer together because this is going to cover up that other. So that's good. I'm going to put just a little touch more glue underneath there. Yay! Okay. Okay, so I'm going to tilt this one and put this one straight, I think. Let me do that. Tilt this a little bit. Get to see some of that pretty wood. And then put this straight. And I'll kind of tuck it there by that tape measure. And I'm going to just kind of line it up with what looks straight to me. And then I've got, I'm going to put a little window here, a flower, and these are all from the Dreamer collection. And since I decided to cut out the window because otherwise it was just so white. So, um, but then I thought now you're seeing too much of the flowers that are there. So I actually cut a little piece of vellum and I am going to put that there. I'm going to go ahead and put a little tape here and here because I'm going to tape it down right after that. So let's see if I can just line that up. And I just figured you'll still see the flowers through it, but um, I kind of like that. That it will be showing through. And let me pull it up top just a little bit more. And I think that's probably good. I'm not going to push it real hard yet. And that looks like it's straight there. Okay, and then I've got this birdhouse. And I put this up on dimensionals because we have the two elements up here that are dimensional. So I wanted a little something down at the bottom that's dimensional. Um, oh, I gotta think of what her name is. I think it's well, the lady from the Yes Please Paper Crafts. I think her name is Karen. But anyhow, she's like the first time she watched me, she's like she talks when she scraps books. She says she was she. I guess she thought that was impressive. <laughs> Because she said she couldn't talk during it. And it's like, sometimes I, I stop talking too. And, um, but I said, I even talk when I'm not. <laughs> I talk to myself even when I'm not recording. <laughs> I do it when I'm cooking and when I'm scrapbooking. And probably any other kind of arts and crafts I do. Okay, so I'm going to tuck this in here. Um, let's see, I kind of want it in front of the window, but not where you see the window, you know, on this side of this little turret that's here. Okay, and then I'm sticking this in here. Okay. And then I've got this little bird. Let's see, some kind of yellow bird. I don't know, maybe it's a finch. I don't know. It's cute. And these are all from the Dreamer collection. And I'm just going to sit him right here on the windowsill. Okay, and then I have the letters. And where did I put those? Over here. And again, I should have put these on ahead because I'm not going to be able to line them up with anything. Well, my camera turned off, so I took this opportunity to um, just put down my letters so you didn't have to hang out with me when I did that, because that's always a long, tedious problem. Um, 
but I actually was able to get the T-square in there to, to work it out, so that worked out nice. Now I've got a little bluebird that I'm going to stick right up here on this S. Like he's just watching what's going on because we got the crocheting girl there. And I've got three or four of these little pink sequins. I'm going to put those on here too. Oh, and I slid this up and I slid this up. So if you notice, things kind of changed. I did do that when I had the camera off since, oh, well, boy, I think I've tur <laughs> turned this enough. Okay, hopefully the glue will still come out. Okay, and so I'm just going to kind of scatter these pink sequins around. I'll put one way up here. One, two, put three down here, and maybe four right in here. And the reason I come I'm doing four of a couple things is because then by the time I'm all done I have a odd number of items. Hopefully. Because <laughs> I didn't count but it's always my goal. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. And now I've got some enamel dots and I'll tell you I could use any of these. I have a dark blue which kind of looks like this here and then I've got the periwinkle and then this kind of like a soft periwinkle but I think I'm going to use this one because it I think that I like having these black snaps kind of show up show up the most so we'll let those kind of have you know, the darker, which is in her dress, too, so I like that. So, we've already got one, two, three, four things there. So, I am going to add three. Unless I get carried away and have to add five. You know how I am. Okay. And... I'm going to stick, now there's four things here, so I got five, six, seven, and this, this is what I do in my head, so, <laughs> so since you're with me, I'm just doing it right, doing it right here, okay, and I want some over here, but maybe I'll just do two of the smaller sizes. Kind of that medium, the middle size, because I've got three sizes here. Mm. Well, I also got a hair in there. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't know. It seems like it needs one more. I guess the bird seems like he's too much part of the title. And maybe I'll add just one more down in here. Mm, I think I'll put there. Otherwise I'll, I'll just get carried away and have to use them all. <laughs> okay, so I will have close-ups at the end. And hopefully I won't add anything in between. You know how I'm always putting the enamel dots on at the end. And remember, if you like it, like it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.